Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to another Buzzing About Town. And uh, today, if you look on the map now, I am right outside Camel Toe, which if you're not sure about Camel Toe, it is a fun, a fun packed gentleman's club uh, where I can't go into much details here. However, uh, as you may know, we've launched our Patreon account now. Uh, so if you have a look on there, I will be bringing inside reviews and uh, in showcasing the girls and stuff and just showing you what goes on to a degree uh, inside there. So have a look, there's a link down below, check it out. All right, so we're gonna go from here. I'm gonna ride you right the way through, all the way through the town center, over to Heaven Above, which is in Soy Boomerang. Uh, we're gonna go and see what's going on and uh, just have a look around, generally speaking. It's a boiling hot day today. And I'll tell you what's really surreal is we're in the middle of what used to be our song cram period and it's as dry as a bone. Really is quite weird to try and get my head around that, particularly uh, when it appears in all the media that uh, Phuket are having it away. So uh, there you go. All right, so I'm gonna jump on my trusty steed, get me lovely helmet on, you know that one, and uh, we're gonna take a ride down uh, all the way through over towards heaven above in Soy Boomerang. And uh, if you haven't been to Camel, come up here guys, check it out. It really is fun. If you've been on the bar calls, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, back in a second. All right, let's go do this. Make sure the camera's looking good. Oh, there we go, that's better. All right, so, yeah, the camel toe. Uh, it's a good place. Um, normally about 15 girls in there. Uh, it is a destination venue. There's no doubt about that. It is a destination venue. Uh, it's not something you're gonna stumble across walking around in town, but all the taxi drivers will know where they are. Very easy to find, and uh, definitely, I would recommend at least coming up here, if you're coming here for a holiday, at least coming up here once just to uh, have a look around and, uh, well, dip your toe in the water, so to speak. But like I say, when I do the Patreon, uh, that will be a lot more informative, a lot more uh, videos, photos of the girls and stuff. So have a look there if you want to have a look at what goes on behind those doors. All right, so we're heading now towards Third Road. Uh, in terms of walking, could you walk it? Not really. I mean, I, I mean well, you could do, I suppose, but I'd, I'd actually say get a, get a taxi. Uh, and I'll tell you somewhere here, uh, here, who remembers the old Lion Bar? Remember the Lion Bar? That used to be the Lion Bar in there. And uh, unfortunately, I don't quite know what's going on, but uh, this place here is all closed up, which is a real shame, because that was a fantastic little place called Beans and Beer. Beans and Beer Cafe. I did a review there ages and ages ago. And it was really, really nice, but I'm not quite sure what's going on. So uh, we'll have to figure that one out. But like I say, you know, normally in this period of the year, I wouldn't, be walk I wouldn't be riding down here holding a camera because I'd be getting battered by water because of the old Songkran. So uh, I don't know, are you a Songkran fan, a lover or a hater? What do you think about Songkran? What are your thoughts on that festival? I've got to be honest, when I first came out here, it was, it was good fun, it really was. But then it gets a little bit tiresome and uh, after a while you think to yourself, do you know what, let's give it a miss. Now, one place up here which we are going to come to, which I want to speak to you about, is, uh, where are we? Here we go, Tingle Bitties. <clears throat> now, I haven't eaten in there, but many of you guys recommended this when I did the recent view. Uh, it's currently closed, I'm not quite sure why. Maybe it's the Song Grand Holiday. Maybe it's giving it a staff a holiday, I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, many guys did, on that video I did recently, aware about places to eat, were talking about Tingle Bitties a lot, saying, go there, it's great. So, uh, I can't say from personal experience, but if you have been there, you know, what's the food like? Is it good? From all accounts, it is. So worth a journey, worth a visit. And like I say, look, you can see up here, you know, we're not a million miles away from the action. So what we'll do is uh, we'll drive down. I'll tell you, we'll go, we'll go the back route in. Oh, hello, a boat on him now. Okay, we're gonna go the back route. I could turn right here, uh, but we've done uh, soy chai, put soy pothole and soy lenki. We've done that to death recently. So uh, let's, let's throw a different angle and let's head down towards Tukkom. That way we'll go that way. Let me just move around here. Here we go. The Kitchen Corner Indian Restaurant. Again, never eaten in there. Any good. It's really weird though. It really is quite weird to be sort of like riding around at the moment and uh, zero water. It really is quite surreal. And I don't know why we've been, well, we've been restricted and uh, Phuket has been allowed. Maybe it's because it's the island. Uh, I, I really honestly don't know. Um, I'm really not sure. Maybe you guys have got some ideas. You drop a comment, let me know why you think it is. 
possibly because it is the island. Now, but this junction we're at, we're at now, if you were to turn left, that will take you over towards Pratanak. If we turn right there, this way, that's third road, that leads you all the way up, right the way up to Naklua. But we're gonna go straight across, round the back of Tukkom, through Soibakau, and we're gonna head into where heaven is. Like I say, guys, if you're on your bikes here, be very careful. Be very, very careful. And now this area here is off the beaten track a little bit. Not many people venture this side of, uh, of the, uh, well, I guess it's called Paddy Adai, really, the, the back end of Tukkom. Although it's worth it. There are a few little bars here, and uh, it's definitely worth having a, having a poke your head around the corner. A couple of little restaurants, stuff like that. But we're gonna turn right here. We're gonna go around the back end of Tukkom. Tukkom, in case you're not aware, that's where you get all your electrical goods from. Be very careful, guys. I do make mention to it many times. You know, be very, very careful, particularly if you're investing a lot of money in a product, maybe it's a, a high-end uh, mobile phone. I would be very, very cautious about uh, buying it from there. I'd probably go to a reputable dealer, to be honest. If you want like peripherals and stuff like that, well then, yeah, no dramas. And, uh, oh. These speed bumps. Ooh. I don't mind going over them. It's when my tits bounce back up and smack me in the eyeballs. All right. So we're right now on the left here. This big, big building you're going to see here, which uh, we're going to turn left because you're not allowed to turn, or not allowed to go straight on, even though they do. Uh, this is Tukkom. If you're in a car, then uh, you can park. There's a little car park around the corner here. Uh, but we're going to go around the bikeway. And this classic cafe, again, uh, that one's closed, but this one you see here that's open, uh, they do great food in there. Lasagna and salad, 245 baht, bargain. And uh, there, is a, there is a gay section here as well, so if you are uh, walking around this way and you get tempted to have a massage, <laughs> each to their own. <laughs> Incidentally, look at this bad boy across the road here. There you go, look at the Texas chicken. Bold Texas flavor. So if you're into that, there you go, you know where to go. And uh, Tukkom, you know, as well as being an electrical warehouse, there are coffee shops and Starbucks and stuff like that there. Uh, there's a lot on offer, so pop in. And if we was to turn left here, that would take you down to second road. But we're going to spin a right. We're literally going to go up here, turn left, and jobs are good and right. Let's go for it. Here we go. And um, there's a lot of dentists here as well, right on this area here. This is a big dentistry area. So if you are looking at getting stuff, there's the Hollywood Smile Dental, the Patea Smile Dental. Uh, there's lots of dent dentists here, so uh, if that's what you're looking to do and you're find, trying to find out a place, now you know where to come. All right. And uh, this is the market area. If you remember rightly, me and Bo walked around there not so long back. Uh, big market area here. They've recently refurbished all this part over there. That's all brand new. It used to be uh, really bad. It used to be all tarpaulins with holes in, so when it rained, you used to get absolutely drenched. But they've done a good job and they've made it all nice and tidy. Does look good to be fair. Okay, all right, so we're gonna head up now. So we're actually, right now, we're on the main Soibacow Road. And uh, there's a few good places up here. You can go up here, some good stuff going on. And the bar that we just passed there on the left, they're popular, a couple of popular bars, there are people watching bars. A lot of guest houses here as well. So if you're looking for somewhere to stay, uh, this is a good area for guests there. And then you've got Benelux Bar. I won't point the camera, there's a guy in there, but that's the Benelux Bar. Pop in there and have a look. They've got a good selection of girls in there. So pop in and say hello. Now, we're going to ride past a lot of massage parlours here. Uh, yes, all of these massage parlours will let you come out with a smile. And uh, prices range. The massage is normally around about uh, 150 to 250 baht, depending on what you were going for. And uh, you will, if required, come out smiling. And uh, another place that's recently reopened here is the Black Snake Club. So if you come on the bar crawls, you'll know about Club Sin, you'll know about Club Four. Stan is the owner. Oh, God, here we go, the one. Um, me gong, Cap, me gong. And uh, thank you, Cap, Cap, Mark. Cool, there you go, he's throwing water around. Bloody hell, I've got a camera in my hand. Um, and there's, uh, in fact, actually, let's go and see what's going on here. Uh, so we're here at, uh, oh, let me just turn the car up one second. Turn the car. Right, this is Action Street. Not sure whether there's much going on. It used to be a really good place around here. But as you can see, a lot of the bars now sadly are closed. No indication as to what's going to go on with them either. I'm not really sure. 
I would imagine probably Tree Town has, uh, has claimed this. I would imagine most people now that were here probably got bars over in Tree Town. Good morning, Saudi Cup. Good morning, it's mid-afternoon. Why don't I say good morning? That's, uh, yeah, this used to be a fun, fun area. I'm guessing probably some of you guys that watch this, have you been into, uh, into this area before? I mean, look at it now, it's been totally devastated, which is such a shame. So I guess prime, prime location for a new hotel, something like that. But unfortunately, there is no action in Action Street, sadly. I will start doing some nighttime videos very soon, um, but I, I tend to stay away from because to be honest with you, you know, I don't know where are you going straight up? Uh, to be honest with you, once you've been out of the night time, they are all pretty much the same, and it's just obviously the camera with the girls and stuff, I don't like doing that. But we will have a wander around. Uh, where are we? In? Yeah, so we've got some places up here, we've got the Macau Corner. Incidentally, people ask me about t-shirts. Let me just show you this place, where you can get your t-shirts printed. Over there, there is the t-shirt warehouse. See right there, straight in front of us. Uh, go in there and uh, they do do uh, single units as well. So you're not stuck to have to have 10. You can have a single unit if you want and uh, get your t-shirt printed. And I think the t-shirts are around about 350, 400 bucks, something like that. On the right hand side here, a lot more massage places. Again, same kind of concept as what I explained to you before, so all good. There are also some nice bars here as well and uh, pop out there, you'll have a good time, enjoy yourself. The six string bar. And when you are walking around, be very careful guys, be very, very careful. You know, the cars and the motorbikes will come at you in all directions, they really will, so be very, very careful. And there's Red Hot and Blue, uh, they're in our Discord group. They're constantly posting photos of all the girls out there working there. So just on the left here is Soy 15 and right in front of us is Soy Bacal, uh, not Soy Bacal, sorry, it's uh, Soy Boomerang which is where Heaven Above is. And what we'll do is, we'll do, I'll just nip up here, I'll, 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 tell you, I'll tell you what we'll do, let's do a little loop. Uh, what loop can I do, let's have a think. Uh, oh here's a happy ending massage in there as well. Doesn't look like it, but it is. Uh, what loop can we do? I don't know now. <laughs> Lost my bearings. Uh, 18 Coins. Who remembers 18 Coins Cafe and Restaurant? Who's been in there? That used to be good. Uh, incidentally, Cheap Charlie's across the road there. Let me just quickly show you that. There's Cheap Charlie's back there. And uh, they're opening up another restaurant, believe it or not. So that's good things for them. They're obviously doing well. So they are opening up another restaurant. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go down. Oh, where are you going, boss? We'll go down Soy Diana. We'll go up Soy Honey. Oh my Lord, I'm gonna take my uh, life in my hands doing that. We'll go up Soy Honey, and then we'll finish off over in uh, Soy Boomerang. And there's the nest. It used to be called Robin's Nest. They called it the nest now, and there's the entrance into LK Metro, which I have to say of an evening now, guys. It really is starting to pick up the pace. And once I get over into Patreon and we start pushing that hard, I will go behind the scenes in a lot of these bars and clubs and uh, bring you some uh, actual footage from inside and show you what goes on, rather than what we've got to do here where I can just skirt across the issues and not really tell you it's full glory. And uh, this little beer bar complex here, this has been popular for many, many years. Certainly the last 10 years I've been here has been many, many, and there's Papageo which I made mention to not long back. You know, Papago used to be good in its time, but sadly is, uh, I guess, over and done with. And there's the beef eater. I mentioned about steak restaurant. I mentioned uh, Patrick's not so long back. He's got a fantastic restaurant. That place, the beef eater, they get quite a good mention as well. well. I haven't actually eaten in this. I can't honestly tell you how good or bad it is. And uh, I haven't actually been in there myself, so no idea. Now you see, back in the day when uh, we were in Songkran in its full flow, this road would be jam-packed. There'd be water coming at you from every direction, both sides of the road, it really was mental. And those people, I'll give you a tip as well, let me give you a tip, guys. If you are gonna celebrate Songkran, for goodness sake, do not, under any circumstances, use the bar buses, because you are a sitting target and they will batter you, they really will. All right, so we're gonna turn right here, gonna head up, uh, up this area. Right, let me put the camera around this side. Uh, so we're now going past what used to be Retox. 
Uh, it's now been uh, re redesigned and re uh, revamped as Hemingways. So up here, we're going to go past a few go-go, uh, not go-go bars, sorry, a few massage places. A couple of bars I want to share with you as well. And they are, that's uh, the Honey Lounge and Sweets Pub. We'll talk about them in a second. But yeah, the girls up here, they don't really like being on camera, so I'll just keep it going straight. I'm not going to poke the cameras inside. They get a bit uh, agitated. And there's Honey Massage, which I doubt very much will open this year. Be surprised if they do let them open. They seem to be right on the very, very bottom of the pecking order. So I'm not quite sure whether they'll uh, allow them to open this year or not. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. So, two bars I want to make mention to. You're going to see them in a second. Oh. So up here we've got the Honey Lounge and we've got Sweets Lounge. And uh, good fun. Go in there, you'll always be made to feel well. Lots of bars down, the honey pots down here as well, all beers, 55 bar, so uh, that's decent. And uh, you've got a few beer bars here, the Jasmine beer bar, stuff like that. This guy's going so slow, come on, young man, come on. But as I say, so here on the right side, you've got Honey Lounge, and uh, there you go, that's the Honey Lounge there. So this one's Honeyest, Graham, Graham at the Honey Lounge. And uh, also we've got the Sweets Lounge, uh, which we're gonna go and uh, visit. Now this guy in front of me, he's just uh, curb crawling. <laughs> he's, uh, he's just stopping at all the girls, having a chat, waving to him, enjoying himself. But I wish he'd get a move on. All right, so let's go in there. Hey, how you doing, buddy? You okay? Right, I don't know where this guy's going. He's, he's just uh, no idea. All right, let's go spin around this side. He really is in a world of his own, that guy. Never mind. Let's get through this. All right, and we're off, good. Okay, so we've just done the loop now. Uh, I'm gonna bring you back to small Soy Boomerang, talk to you about a few of the bars in there, tell you what you can expect. Uh, we're now gonna be literally a couple of minutes away, and we're gonna wrap it up. So with all the restrictions finally, gradually released and easing off, when are you gonna be out here, boys? When are you gonna be out here? When are you gonna be on another buzzing bar call? When are you gonna come and join the action? Oh, told you it's busy, look how busy it is. And as I say, if this was normal, if this was Songkran, and you just sat here on your bike, you are going to be getting absolutely smashed. But, uh, fair play. All right, so there you go. That, that turning on the right, that is uh, soy, Diana. That's the soy we just went down. So I'm not sure uh, where she's going. She's going to try and force her way through. She's doing zigzagging. Here we go. All right, let's keep going. Get off, you're now. No, he's not very happy. He wants to take over the riding. <laughs> His exact word. Buddy! Alright, so let's uh, let's go back down there. I don't think she was negotiating the traffic too well, so he uh, encouraged her to get off the effing thing now. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyway, not to worry, each their own. Maybe he wants to get all get the end of bars and get through it all. To be honest with you, it is tough. It is not easy riding. All right, so here we are. Here we are. Here is Soy Boomerang. And uh, I'm just going to explain to you a few things here. So you've got Pink Baby on the right-hand side. Golden Time, I don't think it's going to reopen in the near future. I think that's going to be uh, a casualty, I do believe. We've got Sluts, got Octopussy. Haven't been in there, so I'm not sure. Hey, how you doing, my man? Are you okay? So, uh, yeah, you've got a good, good few bars up here. Down there, you've got Club Fate down at the end. And uh, up here you got Screamers, Screamers on the left, that's a great place to go in there, it's good fun. And of course, just up here on the left here, we have all the girls here from heaven above, hello. So, this is Greg's place, I do all their photography, all the videos for them, and uh, that's where we're gonna end, so let's just stop here. Okay, so there you go guys, hopefully you've enjoyed that little tour, and uh, come down into Boomerang, it really is a good place, lots going on in the evenings, uh, lots of bars, lots of fun girls, Pop in, come and say hello, join a bar crawl, we'll take you in here as well if you don't want to come on your own. And uh, yeah, come check it out. So uh, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, I said we have, uh, we've launched Patreon, so you want to have a look about what goes on really behind these closed doors. Have a look at that for me, and uh, that will help us develop the channel and develop so much more coming your way, which will be beneficial for everybody involved. 
All right, that's it for me. Don't forget, guys, please remember, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Uh, check out our members area here on YouTube as well if you're interested in supporting the channel. I mean, get on Discord, over 13,000 people now. Fantastic effort, and it really is a great community. So uh, please have a look. All right, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching, and please, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe.